Hi, welcome to Nancy Today. This is where I left you last time when I showed you how to sit on a log. I'm still sitting here and as I've been sitting here I've been hearing things. I've been hearing birds. Now if you listen very closely, you can hear the wind and you can hear a bird over here. Now if you see this sleep side, now this is a dead tree. Birds like bugs and so they like dead trees. I hear a little sound up there. Beep, 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 beep. That's what he's saying. Now we can't find him, can we? I hear another sound. It's not the same bird. Now I'm going to show you, tell you something that you can do. You might not know all these sounds of the birds. You might hear a sound and then you think you have to search for the bird so that you can tell what it is and see the bird. But really, you don't have to do that at all. You can get a program like Thayer has a very good program um, and Audubon has one. I don't really like Audubon as much as Thayer. But it's a birding, bird identification, birds of North America. CD and you put it in your computer and then you can learn the songs of the birds. Once you do see the bird, you know that you're hearing, well you know that you're seeing a nuthatch for instance. I call it the upside down bird, the bird that always walks down the tree trunk. That's a nuthatch and you can hear them out here in the woods. Then you go inside and you look at your computer and you listen to the nuthatch's sound. You, you can do that over and over as often as you need to. Now today, while we're sitting out here, I heard the nuthatch. It was very faint. I don't know if the camera picked it up. But I don't have to look. I know that there's a nuthatch. I know he's up there in that tree, in a dead tree somewhere. And then he flew and he was over there. And then I heard another very faint sound. That was a chickadee. I knew it was a chickadee because I had watched chickadees before. When you're first birding and you first get binoculars, binoculars are amazing. They just bring you right in there. You can see the little tiny bit of corn on the mouth of the bird at the bird feeder. You can see his little tongue moving. It's fascinating when you use binoculars. When you look through binoculars and you watch a bird sing, you're less likely to forget the song of that bird. Then you know, you can look it up in your book, that was a chickadee, look it up on your computer program and listen to the sound of the chickadee. Then you come back outside and you sit in the woods and you can hear that sound, dee 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 dee, dee 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 dee, or chickadee dee dee dee, chickadee dee dee. They have a few sounds, they may have four or five, but once you get to know that pattern, you'll always recognize that's a chickadee. So you can come out here and sit in the woods and you can identify the birds without having to see them. Now that bird is an airplane. Can you hear it up high? I can hear some very faint sounds, which are chickadees. Also, in the winter time, well sometime around the end of the summer, oh back up, in the spring, if you have snow, in the springtime when the snow goes away and the soil starts to warm up, that's when the, chick the birds come back, usually about May, if you live in Canada, southern Ontario. The birds come back in May, and you'll see so many kinds, and you'll hear all these songs, lots and lots of songs, and you can watch the birds find bits of leaves or twigs or anything, and they'll make a nest out of it. You can watch them do that, but then once their babies hatch, then they become quiet. So in, after a couple months, you may think that the birds have all gone, but they're not. They're still there. They're just not singing anymore because they've got their babies. Birds have to be very careful of things like hawks. If you ever see a hawk flying, you, you'll probably see other birds chasing it. I think it would be terrible to be a hawk because everything's out to get you. But the hawks will go in and they will, they'll dive down and they'll rob the nest, they'll get the babies. So the birds are quiet in that season.
Now at the end of the summer and the beginning of the fall, birds will flock. They'll all get together and they'll be ready to leave. So you might see huge groups of bl blackbirds or other kinds of birds and you'll see them flying over. You'll see geese going south. You'll see everything goes south pretty well, except maybe the chickadees and the nuthatches. Well, the woodpeckers don't go south either. Hairy woodpeckers have a very distinctive sound and pileated woodpeckers. A pileated woodpecker will make a very long sound and they, they, they say that while they're flying. So you can hear them for a long way. And the hairy woodpeckers make a deep sound. I'm not going to try and make it because I forget exactly how it sounds right now. Don't want to look stupid on the internet, right? Anyway, so while you're sitting in the woods, you can listen. Now what we're hearing is not a bird at all, is it? That's Mary trying to get a rock out of the driveway. She's using the shovel. It's a very big rock. And the more she's uncovering it, the bigger it seems to get. But she's not deterred. No, no, she's going to get that rock out. Okay, so when you come out there in the woods and you're sitting there watching nature, pay attention to the sounds that you hear. The birds. The little tiny twig that breaks. The sound of shoveling of your friend trying to get rid of a trying to get rid of a rock in the road. Well, that's all for now. That's Nancy today saying get some binoculars and go birding and get a birding program like Thayer and learn those sounds. You can stand in the parking lot and you can write down 20 or 30 or 40 birds that you hear without even having to go into the woods. It's amazing. Bye.